I haven't played Uncharted, any of the Uncharted's, and I've heard nothing but good things about the entire series. Uh, I don't know why. My PlayStation 3 isn't here. I have it downstairs. It's like a dedicated... I did put in Dead Space 2, right? I hope... Okay, good. <laughs> I've got another disc in here. I'm real bad about organizing my discs. I just throw them in whatever containers nearby. With power off, you can hear noises three blocks away. He's going to give away my position. Ellie, try to keep him focused. I need to know what he's trying to tell me. Step two, they go tight. Yes, keep the crazy man alive, but just keep him away from me. Sweet, one of those node things. Do I have power nodes? Okay, I gotta go here first. I guess I don't. Thank God for stasis. Is he dead? Nope. Easy enough. Yeah, apparently I'm overcomplicating things. Oh yeah, let me see how to reload stasis on the fly. Stasis while aiming, recharge stasis. Oh, so I just hit it again, I guess? Okay. That's simple enough. Um, but yeah, I haven't played any of the Uncharted games. Plan on playing the third one soon, because I got such good ratings. But that's not even what I'm really interested in. I'm really interested in... How do I sell stuff? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't need pulse rounds. Hey, Maggie, what are you barking at? Can you stop that? I'm, I'm in the middle of saving the universe. Yeah, I'm not going to use those either. What else? Oh, yes, definitely sell that. Sell you. And sell you. Sweet! And I need to buy... How much money do I have? 20,000 credits, how much are you? Definitely buy one of you. Um, buy some of you. Buy one of you. Buy one of you. And then just finish you off there. There we go. Fair enough. Good stuff. Sweet. Um, let's see. And I'm going to work on the bench. So yeah, uh... The, the game I'm really looking forward to is Last of Us. I just saw a trailer for it made by Naughty Dog. I've said that about a thousand times. Respec ability unlocked. Okay. It looks really freaking awesome. And uh, one of the, the themes about it is it's like the... Uh, I guess I don't know a whole lot about it, but it's like the zombie apocalypse. How do I have... So does that mean I have points here already? Yeah, apparently I do. How did I get over... Th oh, these are all starting zones. Wait, how did I get over there? Oh, I see now. Okay. Oh, sweet. Okay, yeah, I just uploaded the hell out of that damn thing. Uh, it's a zombie apocalypse. It reminds me of 28 Days Later meets I Am Legend. Especially that last scene. It looks very similar to I Am Legend. And it's, uh... Sorry, I'm getting so distracted. <laughs> the uh, one of the uh, one of the cool things about it is the the inspiration for the infected are based off of something that actually exists in the wild, which is really cool. I have no idea what the name of the fungus is, but it's based off some type of fungus. They hint to it in in somewhere in Uncharted Three. There's like a newspaper ad that says like "Deadly fungus baffles scientists." Get off of me! I guess I should heal, shouldn't I? Uh, and what the fungus does, it's so trippy, is it it releases spores whenever it grows, and any ant in the immediate area that inhales it gets infected. The spores go throughout its entire body and, uh, and, and eat its brain away, or eat portions of its brain, and forces the ant to go away from the colony and, and find a plant that's perfect temperature and perfect height for the fungus to grow. Makes the ant grow all the way up, or grow up. That's not my problem, bitch. Um, Ellie, I'll finish up this. Stack. It looks like the docking pod that runs to the solar array is floating at the bottom of the shaft. That figures. He said shaft. I, <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Um, but yeah, it infects the entire body. The ant climbs up to a, a plant. 
it somehow increases the strength of its mandibles or its jaws. It makes it clamp down on the plant, and then it dies there. And then the spores grow out of its head. Wrong button. And, and, and the fungus grows out again, like the thing bursts out of its brain and infects everybody in the immediate area. Shoot red tip to move objects. Really? It's a waste of ammo. That's kind of freaky to me that it controls their brains like that. Like, and that's kind of a, it feels like, I mean, obviously I don't see that ever happening to humans, but it's still kind of a cool concept. I do not remember at all how to do this. Um, apparently I remember somewhat. That is trippy. Guess I gotta go over there. Let's see what this does. Might as well, right? Push the button. Uh, but that's, I think that's a pretty cool concept. I, the, one of the things that's kind of missing from that, that zombie genre, it, it does feel like it's really overplayed. It's done all over, all over the place. But one of the things I do feel is missing is a really good storyline. I think Resident Evil 2 and 1 had good stories as well, but uh, not the same, not, not really what I'm looking forward to. Like, I'd like to see something similar to The Walking Dead. Like the comic book, like real, real serious, real real gritty, kind of like a psychological thing, which is kind of hard to put, oops, to make into a game, I guess, like, to be interesting, because if you make it purely psychological, you don't, if you take a lot of the action elements out of it, I guess it might be boring, but I don't know, uh, th 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 that's kind of how they pitched it, is it's going to be both survival horror and action, they said that, uh, I've heard a lot of talk about it being uh, really story-oriented, and I know... Uncharted is supposed to have some really amazing stories with it too. I don't know. Someone, someone, let me know if I'm if I'm right on this or not. So I'm really excited for that game. I think that has a lot of potential. I'm always a fan of, the, of just that general genre. It doesn't even have to be zombies. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do here. I, I just like that whole survivalist kind of thing. Like uh, even it doesn't even have to, like. Um, I Am Legend had a cool concept. I didn't like the movie, though, but uh, I, I like storylines like that. He's hallucinating, Ellie. It's part of the sickness. This is going to be trouble. Indeed. It already is. That's why I told you to kill him. But no, you wouldn't listen. Over there cooking your shrimp on the barbie. I'm sorry, that was my Australian accent. And that was, that was horrible. I'll never do it again. <laughs> is there a way to boost? Yeah, there is. Alright, fair enough. On the ground, please. What, what am I supposed to be doing? I don't even know what I just did. Apparently I powered something. Oh yeah, that was life support, I guess. I need to pay attention to these things. These little things. <laughs> that make the story. I... I was right. I knew it. I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. Ah! <laughs> Well, that was, uh, worked out okay, I guess. At least he didn't, like, eat my face. But I knew it. I knew they were going to put someone else there. I ain't tripping, yo. You know what would make this commentary so much better? If I could auto-tune it. If I could just decide when I want to auto-tune things and say stuff like, um, you know, get that money, ho, and then auto-tune it, I feel like it would make this commentary that much better. <laughs> I think I'm going to take a break now, but the, the, this is on. I'm going to finish this Let's Play. This is not the last of it, so um, yeah. Yeah, good times. It's glad to be back. I am glad to be back. Let's open this up. Don't break anything. Don't break anything.